Hey, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless. And I have a problem with Affinity Photo when it comes to stock photos. I think stock photos are fantastic because you can just bring them in. You don't have to go onto the internet and you can use them for your projects. But I wish you can just drag them in and it does not let you drag them in. You, you ha and it, you don't know what size they are. So you, I, there's two ways of doing this. Uh, well, there's actually three, and I'm going to show you all three, but the last one to me is my favorite. So the first thing you do is just bring in um, the size you want, and then you can, uh, any. it doesn't matter what size, you pick the size, and then let's say I drag this in, and then I have to go way out and start shrinking it. And I'm not crazy about this idea. Obviously, this is not going to work very well, but I don't like this at all. This is not what I intended. I would like it really to be the original size. So let's just forget this one. And I'll give this one, let's say, here, let's do this. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put some red here, big red. Okay, and I'm going to... Actually, I, I have to put red here. Let's do red here. And we are going to just give it a big X. So we don't want that. That's not a good way to do it. As far as I'm concerned, that's not a good way to do it. So let's try a different way. Another way you can do it, and you have to write it down or use your memory, is you can go to a stock photo again doesn't matter what photo I'll bring in a different one bring it in and it tells you the size 3456 by 2196 but you have to remember that because as soon as you hit a uh, document resize canvas remember 3456 by 2196 you start res oh where no see as soon as you hit here 3456 I think it said 2196, and you have to take the uh, thing off, the, the lock off, 2196. So you have to memorize it, and then you hit resize, and you're still, you're not exactly where you want to be. you got to bring it up, and that's not a terrible way. So that's the second way to do it, and then that's the actual size of the photo. So let's forget that. So let's uh, undo all of this. Okay, so and now the third way, and it's my favorite way, um, really, I wish they would just let you just drag it on, and it, Affinity, Serif, whoever's listening, <laughs> just let us drag it on and let the, let the document open to that side, to that size. So, so let me show you my favorite way. Let me just drag this photo out, and it doesn't matter what size it says, you don't even need to have that. It's good to know who the author is of the photo, the photographer, but I'm just going to bring my photo way out. I'm going to go to crop now. And you still don't know what size it is, but right up here where it says reveal, click that. And now you know the exact size. So you can just bring this right out here. So you're basically you're cropping it to the size of the photo. There you go, maybe a little more, like that, and you say apply. And now you have the original size of the photo. I think it's more intuitive, so I think that's my favorite way, but you can choose whatever way you want. But once again, so I'd like Affinity to just let us drag it out, and, then, and that would be the size of the document, if that's possible. Another way would be, would be great if I just clicked on one and said Control or Command Copy or edit copy like that and then go to file new from clipboard like it does with other things but affinity is not allowing this so uh, you choose whichever one you like affinity please change this I would really appreciate it and I hope you guys liked this tutorial it was very quick if you did please click like and subscribe thank you and have a good day